Okay, we're, we're live. <laughs> I'm going on TV. Um, <laughs> Y'all, I have an Undertale and Delta Theory right freaking and, now. And 2024. And 2024. So it's, so it's 2024. So it's chapter 3 being very cheesed upon the horizon. I was replaying Undertale as usual with my very um, epic friend Colgate. So. Um very epic cool gate who's yeah. also recording <laughs> yes uh, um, um and by the way and, just just in case we like to tell like how long ago this was or whatever this was this is like march wait no yeah it's march wait it's, it's the 29th right oh yeah i think it's like the 29th or 30th i can't remember yeah i'm um, 2024 yeah, yeah wait yeah it's the 29th okay um, and basically my theory is that Delta Room is an experiment by gaster that was also worked on by fans <laughs> and here's why okay <laughs> so if there's kind of this infamous event in the fandom that back in October, the day before Halloween, in like 2018-ish or sometime before Delta Rune released, there was a there was an ominous takeover of the Undertale Twitter account in which the entire profile picture went black, the name mm-hmm. was just black squares, and there was this weird and there were a lot of weird tweets that were sent out that day. And I'm not going to describe that entire thing because you can look into it by yourself, but it's really yeah. cool. And it was, yeah, the, it was the real thing is is that it's most likely Gaster who took that over, um, including a lot of lines that, that are, are related to Gaster in some way. Yeah. Um, and just implications. And the thing is, Gaster, or at least who's presumably Gaster, basically says, if he's not, but like... been, says something along the lines of like, I've been working on something very, very interesting. And that is, um, and he also uses that in basically the intro to Delta Room, which is also implied to be Gaster. A lot of things are implied to be Gaster. Um, if it's not, the fam's gonna fall apart. <laughs> but the entire point is that Gaster is, that Gaster could have been working on an experiment in Undertale yeah. to create alternate timelines to Such as like Delta Room. alter things. Yeah, like Delta And not AUs. And, and- <laughs> Oh no, Delta Room. <laughs> calm down, buddy. Calm down. But the thing is, if you go into Sans' secret room, you can you can find yeah, in the a backyard. strange machine, which could be the machine that yeah, this you, one. You, this which, room. Since this is the machine that Gaster or Sans, depending, could have used to create Delta Room, create the yeah. alternate timeline. And if you go into this first drawer, it says there's a photo album inside the drawer. There are photos of Sans with a lot of people you don't recognize. Yeah. Who are those people you don't recognize? Delta Rune characters. characters. Cause there, and, and Gaster. Because there is some odd implications, including Sans' door being the same as the um, Delta Rune teleportation door, that could imply that Sans is able to travel between Undertale and Delta Rune, which, base, which, at least in the context of this theory, confirms that Sans was working in co with Gaster on this experiment. He looks, and it says he looks something, whatever. And then in here, it says, you look in the drawer, there's some kind of badge. It's Royal what Scientist badge. That, what could that badge be of? The Royal, Royal Scientist, Scientist badge. badge. Implying that Sans could have been an assistant Royal Scientist or whatever. And the thing is, if Gaster was working on creating alternate timelines, and, but chance. Gaster was shattered across space and time. We won't know who Gaster... What if he accidentally changed the timeline so into a world... Where he doesn't exist, but his creations still do. It seems that he was still wiped from existence. Yeah, which can also like, imply that he fell into the core. The core could have something to do with to do with this, but I don't really know. May, okay, oh well, what if like he never actually fell into the core? That's like a cover up or something. Ooh, I don't. Know. I don't. Know. I don't know. If yeah, to, yeah, probably I, not. We're breaking, the, we're breaking this part of the theory up on the spot. Uh, but yeah, that is the theory. Um. Oh yeah, and a one more note. Um, so so in the end of chapter between chapter one. The outro song is Don't Forget, and another and, drawer. Yeah, love, uh, and even we found a note or a drawing inside the door with three people, not specified who, that says, Don't Forget. Yeah. What's the outro <gasps> theme to Delta Rune Chapter 1? Don't, Don't for- Forget! Wait, well, it's like Sans, Papyrus, and Gaster or something. Well, like Val Slay, Susie, and Chris or Ralph something. Val Slay! <laughs> Val Slay! I, I, that's, all, that's, how I, that's how I say it. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of like he's literally wearing heels in the chapter three teaser. Yeah. Um, but he that's it. just a theory. A An Undertale, Undertale theory. theory. So, uh, I'm really sure this because I don't see this as correct. I'm just gonna this theory. So that if it's canon, I can kind of say that I was right. You get imbeciles. Bye. See you guys.